Hi, Chris from AC Connectors here again. So lately we've been talking a lot about RVs and different ways to power your RV, depending on what you have available. And one of the questions that we have pretty often is about the different outlets and what they're able to provide for your RVs. So we're gonna go over that today. So the outlets that we have right here are the typical outlets that you have in either a campground or on your generator. So that's NEMA TT30, that's for 30 amps at 125 volts. And this is a 1450, that's for 50 amps at up to 250 volts if you have bigger appliances inside your RV. So the scenarios that we come across most often are you're trying to power your 50 amp RV to a 30 amp, from a 30 amp outlet. So with that, you need RV TT 1450. So you might be asking if you can get the full 50 amps at 250 volts from this outlet. No, you can't. It's just 30 amps at 125 volts. And even if you're still using this adapter, it's still gonna be that way. So you'll kind of have to adjust in your 50 amp RV. You won't be able to use uh, high voltage appliances like maybe like an air conditioning unit, like an oven or a high power microwave. Um, so you'll only be able to use 125 volt appliances like your TV, refrigerator, other small things. So let's flip it the other way. So you need to power your 30 amp RV from a 1450 outlet. You would use RV 1450 TT. And so with this, you aren't gonna overdraw from this 50 amp outlet. You're still gonna only get the 30 amps at 125 volts that you need because that's just the way that your 30 amp RV is built. So you won't have to worry about frying any appliances or pulling too much or tripping any breakers. Just kind of go at how you normally go. So if you have any other questions about these connections right here or any other RV connections that you might have, please leave us a comment down below. Otherwise, give us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.